Good afternoon, all. This is Fatty Hemzi. It's uh, Wednesday, uh, 25th of January, 2023, about 5 5 p.m. Eastern time. Coming to you from lovely part of, uh, old part of Naples uh, and inland, as uh, as you know, a couple of my investors said, we're not going to leave the money with you if you're near the water. You move, we allow you to trade again. If you don't move, we're just going to withdraw. You got a choice. It's right after the end. Uh, okay, now of course, me, me moving is not easy. So I apologize that everything's in place, but uh, it took me a fight. A fight. I can't jump from one problem to another or different shape of a problem. So I had to do a kind of a, uh, analytical study of where should I be and what's good, what's bad. There's nothing ideal, but uh, be practical. And uh, one of my goals was that Tico will have a backyard. And so he does, and he's, he's a happy camper. As a matter of fact, today he killed it in the market. And, uh, and so uh, uh, now we're talking about goo uh, the fillets now. <laughs> then it's his upgrade to Bagu fillets, yes. <laughs> uh, from Jimmy P's, right? So, anyway, who are lucky? Who are lucky? So, anyhow, uh, quick, very, very quick housekeeping notes. Uh, again, that's the, this is the main way I communicate with everybody. Uh, to the replay of uh, the YouTube uh, video of this. I um, uh, have to announce to you that we have had to push back the, the se session with Marshall Freed into April because last time I was informed that the uh, end of uh, February would not be good. He's moving, he's actually not moving, but he's going on a one month trip to Antarctica, you know, the, uh, I, uh, south of, the South Pole. It happens when you're doing well, you do things. So, <laughs> so you do things that you want to do. And uh, I said, okay. And I said, well, what do you what do you want? What do you have in mind? He goes, well, can do March. So think about something in April. So I put him down for a lot, but tentatively, this is tentative, okay? And we have about 80, some people have signed up already, but that's where we are, Kent. That'll be up front. Today, we're doing our meeting here on time. And of course, we're still offering seven out of three trials for those with the nine O's out. Very robust now, extremely robust now. A big departure from 4.85. Yeah, that was a disaster. That was a broken release. But you don't know it until you put it to work. So anyhow, quickly, uh, uh, these you only want, you register once for this meeting, so it gets a reminder for you. Uh, this one, send us a note. We'll take a look at what you got. We will ask you to fill a questionnaire, not to pry into your privacy, but to ascertain that is this for you or not. Trading futures or options is not for everyone. There's a very, very high risk. You see in my emails now, one well, of my attorneys said, Fabi, you gotta put this in there. I said, I had no problems. He goes, I don't care. I don't want you to have problems in the future either. Just write it in there and say, that this is a past performance has no indication of future results. This is true, are you doing a hypothetical test or you're doing a, a actual results that you, you, you've seen or, or even you've seen your own account. You can't assume it's going to continue. Nobody knows. For example, we did, uh, oh, no, we did not there. Sorry, that's a landing page. We have upgraded these. We're going to do 490. The results are the same. I mean, we're just going to change the label. It is really, it is, like, there was no code change. The only thing would be the rolling forward of a, uh, the first day, the day we ran into this thing. But this was done last week, so the form factor for the same. Uh, um, so that's what we've done. Two system houses are training it. We will start sending a note out for people who want to join the system houses. We have not posted on the website. It was friends and family, but it's really growing. And the results have come in. Uh, more people have dropped in. Now, in the December, we had a problem. It's not a secret. This was a uh, because we were getting so successful, we we're a victim of our own success, and it's called liquidity. So we start this journey of bringing another sharp guy from trade session. <laughs> Fifteen years over there in easy language, not as high up as the first guy, but now I put them together and they work together very well. To be at little snacks, which was four point eight five, but we immediately killed it. Went to eight six and up, and eight six eight eight. Eight nine and ninety eight and nine zero. Eight eight on was very good. 
uh, there were no changes. There were just more uh, uh, checks and balances inside because we have some uh, crazy guys. We do, we do. I mean, this is the this is a tough game. It's not for everybody. So your average guy is in the nut, okay? A little bit of cuckoo, yeah, on, on the future side. After a while, you're gonna get there. Trust me. <laughs> Especially if you discretionary trade, yeah, not not system trade. Hopefully, system trading will eliminate some of that. But they go in there and poke and punch and change. Just don't do that. This is automated, and we we actually more stuff put sort of stuff in there that if you do a wrong setting, it says no, no go. It'll, 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 it'll kill the strategy until you have to change it or you go through that. Some people have asked why. I said, don't ask why. There's a logic behind it, but I don't have time to explain it for you. You got to understand how the API works. This is a tracing API. That's what actually takes the order from a trace to, from a um, easy language uh, software, whether it's an indicator or a strategy, and turn it into executable code instantly in milliseconds in Chicago. Because that's what you're doing. This is all fully automated. There, there's no other way to do these otherwise. If you cannot sit there and do it by hand, you're not gonna get 80% return a month. It's not, this is it. why? Because you're against algos. The other side is the algo. The, you sitting there trying to trade yourself is gone. That, that's a waste of time. You're not gonna understand it. And you're gonna have sequential losers. So you have to get automated to get the emotions out, strict rules. And to enforce these strict rules, we have to turn off certain things. And of course, this is because of what I'm learning from these two characters who are very, very good in the API. Remember, first one was excellent. It still is with me, it's still working. But what happened was that we didn't have the popularity we have now. Why? Exposure. We don't expose this. These are the one of the websites in Chicago, but they have a cooperative agreement with other platforms like Interactive and uh, RJ O'Brien and uh, TD Ameritrade and so on and so forth. And there's a ranking system. For the first five months of running the system, we were number two for a 12 month record. So the software has run for 12 months. We jump in, but in five months, we were number two. So for the three months and six months, obviously, we were number one. Just like Tyra did, we had killed it. We had killed it. And then more people came in more. Yeah, it takes time to get a paperwork on this and that. By the time we got to Thanksgiving, or having liquidity issues. The, the, the order flow on the other side to fill us was not that big compared to the demand we have. There are solutions for that. Part of it is what the next step, which is 5 0. We have begun uh, doing the state of work, some programming, actually, a little piece of 5 0 is already in 4.9 as transition. And our target date for that is Valentine's Day to ocean for me to get a working model to look at, not for distribution. Extensive testing is needed. Uh, reality is probably it will be in the uh, M contract after uh, first week of March, not before that. And practically, probably take us three months. Probably until we get to the U contract, which is early June, we should be ready. What does it do? It's multi asset. It also trade ES, we'll trade bonds, not bonds, notes. We do 10 year. We need liquidity. 10 year ES, NQ, and crude oil. So, truly multi asset, major, major hedge product. And you think I had I have tender offers from other hedge guys now? Look what happens when we get that out. Yeah. And the code side is going to grow. Uh, my last count, based on the, all the modules that the second program has added. Yeah, one of the first things we did, we create log files. Okay. Now, these two houses in Chicago, Strike and Fox, Strike doesn't share with us log file. We told him we can't give you tech support. If we don't look at your log file, we cannot help support you. Because we because you can't use the what they call the uh, trade manager. It's not accurate, accurate. It's not it's not adequate. That's wrong. It's not I'm not saying it's not accurate. It's not adequate, right? And so we we run our own log files now that every single action is there. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing we did to get to 4.85. To see what was wrong with 4.8, which was the one in uh, November going to trouble with the liquidity. But to solve it, you have to really trace it. It's the ultimate tracing software I've ever seen. It's huge. So if you take those modules and the current size of the, the strategy and the indicator, plus the authenticator that ties into uh, PayPal, we're at least over 3,000. 
maybe close to 3,500. It's huge. Now, the mods were pre tested, so they were good. We just recompiled on the 68, but it's a massive undertaking. Uh, now, one more thing we'll, we'll, have a, we'll get rid of the authenticator, we're going to build it on a HA here, we're going to build it here on HA Cloud at, on Microsoft. Where the authentication is instant. The moment PayPal trades us, you're good for 30 days. No more taking your reserve for the end of a month. No more software key. None of that. Use your PayPal. PayPal is not paid, you're out. It's that simple. That's it. As of that moment, it's real time. Real time check. Every time you come in to run the software, it'll check whether we're up or not. I mean, not we are. You are adequately done. And because we're on Microsoft Cloud, we're not going to have any problem. We have not had a shutdown at all. But we've been in Microsoft two years now, and we have not had one case of the problem. Not one case. Yeah, so, uh, but we, we, we took us about a month to get the right configuration I wanted. And they had made a mistake, but we never been down, even though with the wrong contribution. They were just charging us too much, and I'm, uh, I'm very frugal. I've gone through 2008, 2001, 2020. If you, you know, what you, you need is your money, your trading account. You don't need to build a kingdom. You don't need that for what? To satisfy your ego, hmm. stay frugal. Dennis knows me. Stay frugal. Focus on that. Yes, the website has not changed, Musa. We'll get there. What I'm talking about the five O. We're talking about our flagship part. This is our housekeeping. Yeah, yeah. We do housekeeping first. Then we go to uh, we go to economic calendar, and then we go to charge. You must be your first time here. Drink some tea. Yeah, drink some tea. Yeah. As Tico says. You need some Persian tea and read some Romi. Yeah. So, anyhow, so that's our business story here. Try and get to this this bridge from 4.8. That was trouble. 4.85 that was broken. I'll admit that. But you'll find out what you put to work and create a chaos. Then we stabilize it by 8.6 to 8.8. 8.7 never run out. 8.9 and 9.0 are just cut. some rule change. Rule. Uh, changes that allows us to control what you should do, what you shouldn't do. Why? We need to have uniform results. If the system has a uniform results. So. so we're very happy with that. We're going to start on five. Some already sitting in there in four, four nine. The, uh, the authentication would be by PayPal on our website to XML. And uh, uh, it will be multi asset. So, so if you want to use all of that, you probably need a bigger trading account, obviously. Yeah. But bonds, I mean, I mean 10, 10 year note, crude oil, SP, and NASDAQ. It, it also it smooths out the returns. That's the key. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next phase economic calendar. Any questions here for me? Okay. Today, Wednesday, we had MBA in the EIA, so nothing big. Tomorrow's got a big day, but let's look at the MBA and mortgage apps. Of course, for, let's let's also look at this from last webinar because we do this on Wednesdays. Okay. I do believe, if I remember, we down ticked a little bit at that time. I then went back up again, but uh, it was a crazy Tuesday. Uh, 447 was revised. We came at 46. Uh, slightly move on in, uh, manufacturing, slightly move on output, and a little bit better on services. That was PMI composite. Yeah, I don't look at EIA. I'm not a crude guy. Uh, I just you know I I don't go by news of it. I go price and volume. Uh, let's go to GDP, uh, global goods and GDP tomorrow. Those two are key. You can see the red that button. Okay. Uh, obviously, in the morning tomorrow is going to be just all, all most of these are going to tough to up, up, uh, refresh. It's just such a huge, and this is the source. This all the other econ calendars feed from uh, a calendar. So I go directly to the source. Negative two one only macro. Wow. From prior to consensus two eight. Okay. Huge range. X transportation, which is crucial for the. Most bond, bond guys, they're down ticking. Okay. And tighter range there. Okay. Core capital goods, also down ticking. You see that from a positive to negative. So we shall see. B 
big number tomorrow. So be here early. If you trade with us, be here early. Uh, the, the, these 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 guys show up at eight thirty, including jobless claim. GDP, big number, big number. That's crucial. What do we got? Wow, three two. They think we're going to slow down. Two three two point six on the PCE. This is what uh, uh, Bernanke used to look at PCE. Whatever, Chairman Bernanke, Doctor Bernanke, I should say. Two point seven and two point six. Uh, more toward the edge of the uh, range. Okay, this was kind of middle. All right. And watch either side spinning it tomorrow. All right. Uh, trade, international trade. That's not a number that's going to come in. Oh boy, oh boy. 83, revised down. No, revised up, I'm sorry. Revised up slightly. They think we're going to have more trade. Okay. And, uh, we don't know what this is. And then the range is, uh, wow. Remember, it's negative. So big number can be on the left hand side. All right. So tomorrow's going to be key, guys. Be careful. Jobless claim, I think I should be in line. Nothing fancy there. None of these the layoffs have really done anything to the jobless claims. Maybe we'll have a surprise for a change. Anita, who's here, she keeps track of this for us in the chat room live, and I'm indebted to her. Very good work. The econ major by training and work a lot with the private equities and so forth in, uh, in uh, out of London. Smart chart cooking here. Yeah. 190 to 25. So nothing unusual there. Uh, so again, all these layoffs, where are they? New home sales. Oh, Murray, Mom Murray. This is a good one. This is what I'm looking for at 10. So now we trigger at 951 right now. Got to be careful at 10. By the way, we found out that we opened the window of the decision making of the trading system. The accuracy went up. We didn't make more money. The accuracy went up. That means the loss was more less. The win loss, the win loss ratio improved. So you know, remember. It takes a little bit of art work to understand the mathematics of uh, what's a good system versus not. And you got to start somewhere. You got to keep looking, ask questions, and be practical. New home sales, 640. Considers down. Okay. Uh, I don't know how it is down here, probably because it's different than most uh, part of the country. But uh, from what I read and what I see, real estate is going to be under pressure for another probably a year. Uh, maybe less or close to a year. Uh, but down here, is, of course, that's the market. Nothing down here makes sense. It's the fourth richest county in the world, in the, world, in the U.S. So go figure. Probably you're going to have uh, Greenwich there, maybe part of San Francisco, maybe Beverly Hills. But this this place is crazy. It's, it's, as they call it, Beverly Hills of uh, Florida. But I call it uh, Paradise Co uh, Coast. So. Okay, we're gonna get that later. Okay, so that's what we have here. Let's go to Friday. Consumer sentiment and home sales are gonna be crucial, obviously. But well, that's the green report. See that? We, let's look at the red report. Uh, personal income. That's at eight thirty. Okay, point two. See, all they're all writing this down. Writing it down in terms of they're expecting it lower, uh, and that's probably what also. Fed is looking at, but if we beat this too strongly, they're back on a track for a problem. And as you know, uh, reserve banks uh, is a monetary policy a meeting calendar next week. Uh, yeah, we, go. we have a Fed meeting coming up, the first one for the year, 31 on the first Tuesday and Friday, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So, uh, and you're going to see the whole talk change on the TV on that. All right, we're good there. Let's go to charts. Musa, you came in for this. No worries. We'll get there. But remember, pattern at Kasserine. We always go on my schedule. Yes. And it makes sense after a while. At the beginning, it doesn't. It's confusing, but trust me. One of the problems is I cannot go with other people's schedule. I have too many people. That's my problem. So, we have about what? 
400 active uh, members. There's no way I can go by 400 calendars. So, all right. Surprise, surprise. We closed almost where we were before yesterday. Now, before I get there, let me uh, go through here. Let's see. Let's talk about PMT first before we talk about charts. So I want to be clear there. Um, and uh, let's also talk about uh, went flat last night. That was a close. Why? Uh, we could, it actually didn't turn out to be much of a difference, but that was. Uh, but you can see what we have done on record from February on. We killed it. We had one small loss. So. Tommy, are you still keeping track of it? As a matter of fact, uh, here is. Uh, let me get to. Let me open up. I, I, I need to bring it. Yeah, I, can, I can't bring all my emails to you, but hold on. <laughs> Sometimes private data. I'm bad. I'm, I'm good. What we do is very governed in writing by contracts, so one of them is privacy of other clients. So hold on, let me go to this. This morning was it last night? Uh, no, this was last night, uh, Tuesday. Time and digest. Okay, here it is. This is exactly what we sent to you. <laughs> do this because we have I mean, a lot of people have signed up for the package. I might be clear. What we sent to them in real time, okay, it goes to them and they responded, okay, today, packing, saying this we're neutral. The time of the is not ranking anybody, but they're keeping um, record of our positions. The last one was in uh, 21, uh, January 21, and that's the one that was named uh, time of the decade. But we, we have kept up. Now, some people, some other time of the the timers, I've contacted me saying, oh, what? Because they get some of my, they, they respond to you. I said, yeah, you have send them. Send them your results. I mean, not your results, your calls, but in real time. Real time, it's got to go in. Okay? And they give you the last known, uh, what do you call it? Uh, SPX closed, not the intraday. It's not at nighttime. And as of, uh, unless market is open. Market is open, it's going to be that night. So middle of the day, you change your bias, you can get tonight's close. But if it's after the close, I think until midnight Eastern, you get last. I think what? Well, long period of time it works out. It is. You can't. You, you can't. You can't guess it. Who would have thought? I didn't go short. I just said, you know what? We had 172 handles up. 173 handles up, and that we calculate this. We keep it ourselves. Why? Just keep an eye on. Yeah. About 173 handles. Trump says 172, my bad, but yeah. And we keep track of every single uh, signal and then it goes into this chart. It goes back to four, uh, to November of 14, where we came out and said, we are not happy with our results. We're changing our indicators slightly, just massaging it. And uh, watch out. I remember Bollinger called me and says, what the hell was that? You declare war on the whole world? I said, well, John, sometimes I do that. Yes, I, got, I, I built P2s. I do the talking, yes. I'm declaring war. And it was right about here. And then by about June, he said, Barry, you're number one. Over what period? That's only six months. And I said, well, you know, I mean, because you can, you get, you're gonna see your performance. That goes back to your question, Jason. In the rear of your mirror, you can't predict it. Who would have thought that we're going to do this? Uh, let me bring this on. Oops. Sorry. Who would have thought we're going to do this? This, this, this move. From this move in 2020, we'll create this. Now, we were lucky. We, we named it. We called it. We named it. There are videos that show what we we're looking for. That day and that level. 18,000 on the Dow and spring equinox, Persian New Year. Both happened at the same time. And we had a 38% drop. Welcome to America. If you do that, I'm probably not going to happen to do it again in my life. I'm not, not sure I want it. I, one COVID is not for everybody. But you got to realize that that call where Tico says, Daddy, we got to sell this market. I said, What are you talking about, Tico? He goes, 
didn't CDC tell you our biggest problem is uh, chemical reagents? I said, that's not, that's not public data. That's, that's special data from CDC. And he goes, this is a dog, right? Okay. He goes, listen, but that's not a training data. It's the health data. And why we don't have uh, chemical reagents? Because we, because of EPA, we have subbed them out years ago, if not decades, a couple of decades ago, to India and China. We depend on them. Daddy, we got to sell this market. I said, let's go and sell this market. And for three days, I was vomiting because I cashed out a bunch of stuff with some family money, all that. Went short, the market's going down. Yeah. A very tough three days. I mean, my sister called and says, you're nuts. You're going to ruin the family. I said, well, you know, you want to get out? You can get out of your portion. You want to do that? It's America. What do you want to do? Of course, she hanged on. <laughs> she's, she's something else. And now now they call they call me Moses. Yeah. I part the sea. I told her, easy, easy. So anyhow. Uh, mm. Anyhow, so I, I can't repeat that. I don't think so. But we had also 2018, we had a huge move. The drop into Christmas Eve. Yeah. And then, of course, this is what we did. Now, remember, this is computed based on when I'm not flat. If I go flat, and we have done that flat here, but when you go flat, time stops. You restart. That's why you have this blank times in there, blank box. You restart. So, for example, here, when we go, Long or short, after this box is going to be flat. Okay. When you restart, then it pegs from what the SPC X value is. So over time period, it works out. And to, uh, so this is what current numbers we are. And this se separation. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to go down like that. Hold on. What happened? Oh. Hold on one second. So this is what I look for, this separation, this line and that line. Now, remember, this is cash on cash, okay? This, the, the red line is SPX, buy and hope. We call it buy and hope instead of buy and hold. One of the, the ball guys in Chicago called that. That's why I tend to buy and hope. So if you if you bought in not without inflation and cash on cash, no future, no options or futures, just cash on cash, we start, we're at 210. Uh, except from uh, uh, November 14 when we released the last signal we had with that indicator. Last signal we had. I'm sorry, the first signal we had with that indicator. And now we're about, what, 100? Yeah, it's about 100 up. 100%. So you have doubled up your money with uh, S&P. We have more than tripled. So the dif differential is not 100 in there. Over eight period, eight years of time, that's about twelve percent a month year, compounded. No, not compounded. Straight, straight taxes are twelve percent. Go to uh, what do you call it? Go to uh, uh, Morningstar. See if anybody's beat that on 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 this leg of time consistently above S and P for twelve percent a year. If you find them, let me know. I'll change my name. Uh, now. The good part is that we also do the pro with the, with options on it. So this just this destroys this because with the call, call spread or put spreads. Our last call spread, again, this is not advertising. I'm just trying to tell you where we are. There's a point I want to bring up. Uh, so we go into, log in there, go preempt. And we don't send this out because we don't want you to send it as an email. We just tell you there's an update on the website. Go look at it. We hit 4040. Okay, now, one thing we haven't done yet, and that was a question today. Why the latest communication is not here? Because it's not. I haven't had time. I have seven products. And we are a major, major project here called ORB. But you have the emails. Everything in the emails show up here with the same time stamp. Okay? Just like the one I showed you for change of as a matter of fact, if let's go there and look at Admiral Tico. I can tell you, he's busy with his stakes. That's why he's busy. So let's take a look at this. Here we go. Here's the setup email. That's Admiral Tico, about nine pounds. And remember, he says, do not launch without my command. This business is about being instructable. If you're not instructable, you shouldn't be here. You should do on your own. And then he gives you a launch command. 
Okay, it gives you the orders and all that. And you get his key command, execute, execute, with another authenticator, so you know this is him. Okay. So what he did was, uh, uh, and then he came back and hit this. Look, look where the high was. There's a timestamp, 345. And it says, get, exit this position. This was on um, two days ago. And this is the target. Nothing has changed. So did very well. Now, yesterday we just went uh, flat. That means we, we closed this position. We flat with timing digest too. And here we post where we are, which position we are in. So now we're flat going into the next decision point. Also, we are, and then, then now let me tell you another person. Some, and we gotta update this. I'm behind. I gotta update this. No question. So, I'm in a webinar. Let me call you back in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That's fine. No problem. No worries. Bye bye. There's a Roman for you. From Brooklyn. <laughs> I told him I'm in a webinar. Anyhow, that's okay. Now, so we had a gentleman who came to me and said, uh, I don't like any of this. Uh, th this thing is uh, not the way I want to operate. I want you to do the following. I called uh, my assistant, Matt, who does the PayPal. I said, just give him a full, he's been there a month. I said, give him a full refund, block him. We're event-driven. Market timing is event-driven. Has nothing to do with what you think, what you want, or why. Been at this since 2003. It's event driven. You cannot just manufacture it and take a square uh, peg into a round hole and say, do it this way. It doesn't work like that. If you have to see events happen on the on the screen, on the news, uh, on quant, quant work, like at Marco, what Marco does yesterday, he was Marco Karlovich. Uh, very high respect for a PhD in quant at uh, JPM. You got to look at that from that point of view. It has nothing to do with your schedule or what your wants and needs are. And I'm working this. I don't have this. No, don't work like this. I'm sorry. So we simply politely ask them to uh, not bother us and we won't bother him. Done. And Matt said, well, no, he used a month. I said, I don't care. Let him, let him have it. Because then he's going to go to PayPal. It's going to take us time. We don't have time. Just give him full. Thank you. C'est la vie. Don't come back. Please don't come back. We have too many customers. Okay, and and you can see why. I mean, you know, this, this result speaks for itself. Uh, so we don't want to be arrogant, but we got to stay to what works for us. Uh, here, here's why: the second guy we beat by 100 percent. Okay, the second guy, and that Trove is a very smart cookie. So is Mark Rose. I have high respect for both of them. But this is what Time and I just said. You can call them; they'll verify all of our trades. Okay, so. Um, we just have to stick to what we know, uh, how we do it. Not changing and making this not a custom-made software operation. This is a cookie cutter. It's a newspaper. And we have to be back here. We cannot give individual advice. We cannot do it on email. It's got to be where it's recorded and others are available to come in. You have no idea. I don't have First, first, first Amendment rights like you do. Yeah, because it's it's not. it has nothing to do with the Constitution. It has to do with the uh, the clauses that are attached to uh, newsletter writers. Newsletter writers are limited rights. Why? Right? Because it's your money. It's for your own protection. Okay. By the way, if you want to follow Admiral Tico, that's Admiral Tico. Don't forget. Okay. And he's just recently has decided to follow me. Can you believe this? The son of a gun. Yeah. Hashtag is chick magnet. Yeah. All right. So, so we talked about that. Let's go to the charts now. Hopefully, this explains for the new members how we do things. We do Wednesday webinars. Wednesday webinars are posted on the YouTube channel. We urge you to go there and take a look right here. Tremendous resource there. And we have about 1,500 people there. Oh, wow. It's 155. Uh, 50 okay. And uh, you'd see the charts and all that. We use, we use different fronts just to make it more appealable. Okay. But the inside, the, the subject is what we cover. Okay. Now, there's a question about these guys. Funding. It's, it's not our party. It's, we're not involved with them. It is a third party. We have a lot of people who want to get funded or at least not try their own money first. It's a great idea. They'll give you funding money to run on a system for a fee. But then our suggestion is sign up there, 
and use our uh, uh, ORB. Number of people that when that work got funded. Why? Because ORB is good. ORB is good. Except in December when we had the overloaded issue. But uh, uh, aside from that, it's been pretty consistent. July was a bad trading month because it went sideways. No system made money in uh, July. Okay. I'll tell you what, you what your purpose of system was. That was a problem. So take a look at that. That's part of the package. I'll make sure, uh, if I have a little bit of time, I will go in there and check both of these. Obviously, Pro is the one with the option trade. Uh, the, the market timing, the PMT itself, is just a, a target on SPX. When you trade SPI on it, you can't trade SPX. But if you want the extra juice of what I look at on the option side, that's, the, that's a Pro. Okay. So right now, we've closed the Pro option trade, last one. And we and we went flat with uh, uh, time judges. Now there are times where we could sit in a bias and do two or three of these. Yeah, you know I, we can. But if the bias changes, obviously we have to change the. If the trade is going to change to the wrong bias, then the uh, the calling with the time judges has to change. Yeah, we're not going to be long the time judges and give you a put spread. Okay, so it moves on. Oh, that one, Jason. Yes, it's in the. It's APX. You gotta go through. Go to the uh, yeah. That, that's a good question. Jason wants to know what it is. Just go here and say trade funding. You see it right here. And you, I want you to watch it first. Okay. This is the this is the webinar we did here. As I every once in a while I put it on Twitter. We have quite a bit of people there actually. And then uh, there's a discount code. Use that and you can go. In. Okay. And it's APEX trading. Trade funding or something like that. Let me let me see. Hold on. If I click on that, I don't want to play it here. Hold on. Hold on. It's Apex Trader Funding Okay. And that's the link you want to use. And they misspelled my last name, but that's the code. Use that code to get it, to get your discount. Okay. We have quite a bit of people there. And they're pretty good. I mean, I hear from some of them saying, hey, I should have listened to you. Did the ORB and this? Or they just they struggled because they, remember they don't give you the trading uh, trading uh, 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 by sales. They you provide that, okay? But if you hit some numbers they're asking, you know, the, the numbers are not difficult. But if you hit that, and you got to understand like you have ten days to do it. So if you hit the number that, that you signed up for, uh, then you get funded. But if you hit the number early, like happened with Orb one day, they hit it immediately. Boom. Don't trade again, or trade and close. Or plan close for one tick. Don't risk again because you want to hit that threshold. Once you hit the threshold, you get your funding. Okay. The system does not trade on Wednesday because with the E of X is a negative. Uh, Mr. Gupta. Now that may change in five zero, but under four point X, uh, because here's the problem. That's a good question. The system trades is ORB, opening range balance. What, what are the activities? Mondays and Fridays are big days. Mondays are merger Monday, uh, subtract, uh, like Putin decides to go somewhere, do something stupid, things like that, okay? Or, uh, you know, stuff, really mergers happen over the, over the weekend. Now, Fridays, you have non farm. You got GDP, not GDP, you have uh, uh, big ones non farm. You have uh, option expiration. The number of days that mix of the week that Fridays are crucial. Then you step in. Because best end of results, you look at by day, because we run the test by day. And so only trade Tuesdays, for example. There's a ranking. Mondays and Fridays are come first. Tuesdays and Thursdays come first, second. And then Wednesday gets in trouble. So we turn it off. If we're if the expected value of the return is negative, why do you want to feed the worker? Workers are rich enough, right? So that's why. This should be in the webinars, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the webinars. That I think you and I talked about. You're gonna you need to watch this. It's actually gone over there. It may be overwhelming, too much to listen, and you forgot. But that would be good. That's not a problem, sir. All right, let's move on. So we we talked about PMT. Here's the charts. Now, where, what's my thinking now? Where are we going? So we go back to Jason, who uh, you're quite welcome, saying, uh, is, it a, is it a bull case here going forward? 
I don't think we've been here before, Jason. Okay, we've had uh, uh, some asset classes under a lot of pressure. Uh, we've had also uh, some asset classes uh, rallying. Uh, so if you look at it, there's a mix here. We have high inflation by any standard. Uh, we still have a negative money. The cost of money right now is still negative. Okay, because the 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 the, the what banks are charging you, what the treasuries are, still below uh, CPI, PPI, even though it's easing. So I don't think the Fed has achieved their goals yet. It's going to take time. The impact on the economy is always a, a shift to the right, always has been. Market will sense it because market has a different kind of animal. You have it. You know, I, I, most of the market is the smart money. They react. Very few. Those are just you know, in the control of the, their 401ks and they're passive. And, uh, you know, big firm trading them, holding them, churning them very slowly. Those are those are set there. But uh, the average guy in the options and futures will take pause and react and do things. So we're in a different place right now. Uh, commodities had a tough year early on. They, they, they came down because of interest rate. Also, techs have, techs have had a major tough year. Uh, we have, uh, and then also this is the presidential cycle. The other side of the coin, the third year of presidential cycle. Historically, if you study that, that's one of the first things you do when you get into market timing, you realize that this is the year the markets do well. Why? They dress it up so that in the fourth year when the campaign starts, they're going to show you, again, they have something in the rear view mirror. If they start talking about the market, in a year from now, I'm saying, I'm saying, if they want to wait until see the result of next year, they have to wait until like November, wait until like a, September, it's too late. They want to talk about next year this time when the, uh, when the primaries start. For that, you need to have a good year in third year. Historically, that's what happens. It gets manipulated. The incumbents will do anything they can to make sure the numbers look good uh, so that uh, move forward. If that's what's called presidential cycle, it's the third year. This is the third year. So um, that's another up bias. But if you sort all of this out, especially what's happened with the tech and the fact that really to know it's a bull or bear case, it's only going to be a rear view mirror. So right now, nobody knows. I think we have a making of possibly going higher. I'm slowly taking a bullish side pretty much from the this mid October range, but that's visual visual. It's easy on a chart to see that. Okay. But I really didn't get my courage up until to go long about uh this area. Especially after this low I went flat and then on the third twenty third I went long went by Christmas Eve. Now part of it was I was wrong. There was some moves back and forth. So either we did not put up an option trade or we let the market come to us. Uh so with time and digest, that's simple. But uh, until we were here, I was not con con uh, convinced that the uh, the move down is done, and at least for now, because if it kept on getting worse. We would come up a little bit and sell. Look for it sell in the you know, Look how it sell against the uh, 200 day moving averages. I mean, we marked that. Remember, we had one trade that was exactly that came back down, and I remember the webinar here. Roy went nuts. But you know, you, you, if you look at the vibrations and you look at the, uh, the advanced decline, you look at the CICI diff, you know what to look for and you say, okay. Uh, and then we start coming down. This was pretty horrible. This was pretty, but it flushed out all the excesses. And one by one, they took the generals to the woodshed. Remember, that's crucial. You guys see that. You know, one area was, I believe this was Amazon, I think. It was Amazon. Then came Apple, then came. Uh, at Google, every so, so often they take one to the woodshed and, or at Facebook, Amazon, uh, uh, Tesla. One by one, this, this recent mode here was Tesla. As as the, as the Admiral Tico said back in May, saying back here, he says, Mr. Moss, you won't be able to close this trade. You cannot hold it. If, even if you close it, you're going to sell it quickly. That's exactly what's going on. Why? He looked at free cash flow analysis. You go to the Tesla report, annual report, read the back and read the financials. They made $52 million only on free cash flow. 
the 600 million they reported was not about 170 of it, of the 620, I think it was. 570 was non cash. You had to do with stock rights. You cannot pay interest by, by a non cash either. A non cash cash flow is not going to allow you to pay your interest due. His interest due in the interest rates of back then uh, for 13 billion was about 390 a year. So over 30 million a month. Are you going to pay that? 52 will pay you basically six weeks. So nine pound dog said to the richest man in the world, you better recalculate what you're trying to do. You're going to get into trouble. Now I understand they're selling the furniture. And I understand they haven't paid Google. Why? Google Cloud. Yes. Hello, Google Cloud is a friend of mine. The, 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 you know, they, they need a lot of servers for this, for to, to be this real time. Remember, I can hit 150,000 within a second or less than that. How you can do it with emails? You know how you take an email? So great tool, but being being misappropriated in my opinion. And oh, it's been backing up. Yeah, I think we're backing up. All right, sorry. So give me a sec. This is backing up. Yes, it's not finished yet. So uh, that was another uh, mark, uh, general they took in a woodshed. So this is, continues to happen. So I was not convinced we were done. Now, Jason, I would say, yeah, carefully, carefully, maybe we'll look at it, but it's not a long term. Now, let's get to more charts after this is done. Um, I'll give you a few seconds, and then we can get into that. Um, this locks up everything. Won't let you move it. I bet. Uh, the other thing is that you got to look at wall cycles. Wall cycles are pretty good to determine. They're better than time cycle and uh, price cycles. Um, for us now to go up, the walls have to come down a lot more. Okay, so that's what could be a telltale. Uh, I would look at that. Uh, now, then we're going to get to uh, down here, we're going to get to SQ. We'll have a discussion about that. I'm just waiting for this sucker to finish. As you can see, I have, I have a lot of stuff in there. By the way, I have something written on my own about over the last 15, 20 years. Something about 100 indicators, plus or minus. Only two of them, in my opinion, are good. Why? They were two different markets. They were there. Uh, the market came. You cannot do it back test. Back test is no good. Back test is just fool you. You got to go to the battle zones of 2008, 2001, to uh, 220, and so forth, and then see where you are. And those three are in ORB. That's why ORB has done so well. It doesn't joke around. And obviously, I had the privilege of working with two great guys, and we have a pretty good, uh, steady uh, 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 command set and uh, uh, procedures to how to a, a logical how do you walk through the trade. All right, we're good here. Let's go back to here. So, come on. Hold on, are we good here? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, go back. To uh, this is a multi monitor machine, okay. So we've come down a little bit of divergence on the top. I understand that. Okay. Realize also when the advanced decline, which is a big, big, major input into my process, keep, goes up there and hits there, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to uh, 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 to give up. So we could be continually slowly going up on the price and have a little divergence on the indicator. How do I know that? Just over here, watching it. You know? That's all. I mean, there's no, I didn't learn this at UCLA or Princeton. It's not, they don't teach you that. This is a day in, day out combat zone. Yeah. So, and you could get a, you could get a psoriasis too, just like me. But uh, thank God I'm doing a lot better with the sun and a little exercise. And trying to put myself first for a while. Last 20 years, I always put the family and the work first. And also, I do, uh, uh, Floating. I do a float uh, in Fort Myers, which is a sensory deprivation tank. It's very helpful. Very helpful. Well, the best way to meditate. Because when you're you know, leverage trading, you trade for a lot of people and for yourself, and you have three chat rooms. Yeah, it's overbearing. Yeah. Most people ask me, how do you do it? I just say, I don't know. I just do it now. Day, day one, I wouldn't plan to do this. If I knew it was going to be like this, I probably wouldn't have started, but I'm here. What do you want me to do? So let's come back here. Okay, so let's go to Canary in the coal mine charts. 
We want to look at transportation and Russell. Why? Because they're a precursor. These are lead, 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 leaders for uh, SPX and NDX. These three are the watch. So far, so good. Not bad. There, again, no major signal here other than uh, what they did here was the right signal. We rotated on CI, went up. This is zero lag indicator. I wrote it myself. It's probably the, I don't think anybody has topped it yet. Otherwise, I've heard about it. This is the fifth generation uh, momentum indicator. If you read Two Charge Chandler's book, it's not a recommended reading list. You'll see the uh, start of uh, MACD4. And, uh, you know, and if you think about it now, you go to joke. Mathematically, we have so much more power, computational wise, data, everything. It's just amazing what uh, this thing does. It's a user limit theory. So actually, I had to dust off some paperwork, some books, get to the right papers, and Take a look and remember what that when I was taught by uh, Jay Stuart Hunter, uh, which his book is a it's like a Bible of engineering statistics. Uh, I was privileged to be a student. Um, he's passed away. We all have to go one day. That's algebra of time. Anyhow, okay, let's come to the trender. This is a kind of focus in to what we looked at canary uh, for a coal mine uh, of, uh, in the coal mine. This is the chance, and this is Russell. 50 bar, 200 bar, D-trender. What's the D-trender? Delta between actual price and the moving average. So you want, you want to know, and the percentage, and the percentage term. How much is this, uh, how much, where's the rubber band? And that's how you look at the rubber band. You look at a longer period of time, you see where we are. Major firms, money managers, that's how they run. You have a bird cross coming up. Uh, if you come here, This is a death cross. If you stack in this position, you were long. Probably we're not working right now. You probably uh, you probably buy buy it here. Probably the application at Uber. Yeah. They they follow this like uh, you know uh, you know the, the 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 mother hen tells them what to do. Yeah. So anyhow, the birth cross is coming. The reversal is coming. So we shall see. Okay, that's one. Uh, Trans already passed that. Russell is about to, and we got work to do here. Of course, remember it's earning season, and got some big names on trouble. This is the way I look at this. I count them. To me, it's a uh, it's a count issue. Uh, one, two, three, four, positive. Five, six, seven. Okay, we're well, seven out of eight positive. One of them is negative. Okay, and so we need to work on that obviously because this is we need to be underneath it. So when we were, when I was doing more charts and not video, we were doing a write up. It was dry. It was a Sunday. We take all by Sunday. This is the way we're doing it because interactive. It's recorded better. I can't change it or edit it, and then uh, uh, it's more authentic. And uh, also, it's live. Everything is done once. And uh, I used to count there back then. How many of the eight? This is seven out of eight. So to me, that's positive. You, and then if he goes, if he goes to eight out of eight and stays there, then it's overbought. Yeah, we're gonna get that soon. Too. Then you gotta rethink your uh, algorithm, or I mean, not algorithm, but your logic for what you wanna do. Okay, these are two mechanical systems. They are not available for usage. They are very primitive. They're not supposed to be sophisticated. They're just to give you uh, like a super indicator. This is long and this is short. These are trend following. Much like what uh, John Henry, owner of uh, Red Sox, has uh, put together. The, the whole firm is based on trend following. And so in the shorter term, you get some uh, whip lashes because you're going to have some uh, uh, false signals. The longer one has done pretty well. I mean, obviously, this was a one bad one, but usually this does pretty good. So we are long, we are buy, and then sell here. Once this tends to buy, then you, you, know, you can open up your trials, Jason. Okay. Now, we're getting a count up here on the weekly highs and lows on S&P. Again, this is purely SP, SPY, SPX, I'm sorry, SPX. We're not looking at NYSC. We're not looking at any of this has to do with all the names, no. We're looking at a small uh, portion called SPX. Now, why? That's 80% US equities as a going concern issue. So the premium is good. The valuation is good. We want to see how they behave. 
outside of the, all the junk that's on NYC, like bomb phones and uh, various things. And, you know, the names actually have no business, have no pulse. You shouldn't even be there to take them out. It takes a while to be kicked out of an exchange, trust me. Unless you're FTX, and that's a different problem. <laughs> but, or you are the exchange itself. Uh, but, yeah, the, 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 so we want to get all those out. We want the 500 best companies in the U.S., or if you look at NDX, 100 best companies in the NDX or NASDAQ. Uh, these two are proprietary indicators. We do not discuss how they got there. The numbers are fake or they are massage to not give you a clue what we're doing. But what matters is the relative position. All that matters is relative position. These are stigma channels, and you can see that it's shortened uh, brethren called, smaller brethren, called Momo. And I'm looking for divergences. So uh, right now, we're not there yet. There's a little bit of pressure there. If you look at this, uh, you can see we're higher in the price, but not on Momo. So that's not a good signal. We could have a hiccup here. What? I don't know. Could be Putin, could be dead ceiling, could be a lot of stuff. I have no idea. I don't make the news. As I explained to day one to CNBC, I don't make the news. I can tell you which way we could be going until you go find it. Remember, uh, Leslie you always would say, well, you got to tell me what to look for. I, said, I have no idea. The market doesn't tell me, right, this is what you look for. All I know is that the smart money on a CBO is doing something with the options. That is, and when you aggregate it, my system filters and says, this is the problem. That's all. I don't know anymore. I can't write the news. That's your job. My job is to tell you which way it's going to go. And not 100%. Most likely. Nothing is 100%. Yeah. So, interesting conversation. But I mean, after a few calls, then they were just, you know, Moses. Yeah, exactly. Because it's just there's nothing to argue. The chart doesn't, the charts and data doesn't lie. You just have to understand how to read it. Okay. Uh, Conovich talked about this yesterday. I hope you guys ca caught him on the fast money. I usually don't even watch that. It's on a DVR. I usually delete it, but not when Marco is around. His head point at uh, JPM. Pressure down. We still have one sigma. Again, measure it against itself. Uh, I was uh, mentored by uh, the guy who wrote the original VIX, which is this one. Uh, that we used to call it OVX now, or SP 100, Dr. Whaley. And uh, I was just lucky. You know, the, the other two guys who did the uh, role, Gesky and Wendy, of uh, fame, that did the theorem to finish the Black Shows. I was a student of those two. Uh, Dr. Wendy, I, I, I remotely worked with me. And of course, uh, I had the privilege of meeting him at NYU one time. Where's my cookie? VIX is not down enough. Okay, let's go to SQ. This came to me from uh, head of uh, volatility trading at Citadel. It just came out. So, hey, you got to take a look at this. Now he runs H1 in Chicago. Uh, Bees will be good. Uh, but vol doing vol alone is very difficult. Very, it's not very, very difficult. Because it's a, it's a binary result. So you're one or zero. Either feast or famine. So don't try to do that to yourself. Uh, a friend of mine was selling vol constantly for the last two years. Guess where he lives? We lived. Lived on the beach in Fort Myers. Guess what happened to him last uh, October? Well, beginning of October, he lost the house. Middle of October, his wall stuck, not working. He lost his business. It's really bad. It's really bad. But that's all he did. He just kept on selling wall. So from uh, October, from uh, uh, middle of October to now, we haven't much heard much from him. All well, we knew that he lost the house the 1st of October in Fort Myers. So it's pretty sad. Okay, what does this mean? We're heading up. That means big guns are beginning to set up some activity down here. I'll put this back. This is a uh, uh, out of the money tail risk of uh, the price distribution of SPX. So this tells me somewhere in here. Are you gonna you gotta say what? How do I find out? Go to all right. Open the open interest for SPX. You'll see. There's some activities building up here. That's why this is slowly heading up. Okay. There is some correlation with the market there, right? But usually this leads the market. When it hits a four sigma and peaks, like we did here, you can see the market turning. And turning violently. Okay. Just look at this. This was December. What was this? Uh-huh. 
uh, why are we not getting the box? Okay, sorry. This is, uh, no, this is 25th or 21. Okay, yeah. If you go back, actually, yeah, this is after Big Drop. If you go, this was in 20. If you go back, you'll see in December of 19, this was nuts. Where's the symbol? Let me do this. We gotta get the camera. Okay. Uh, 21. Nope. You see this drop? Okay. Look where it, that's all time high, by the way. Look, look at the signal. Um, huh? Come on, should be sooner. No, something's wrong. All oh, fair, guys. December 20. No, December 20. Yeah, hold on. No, no, that's April. No, this is 20. Right, right, right. There was a, oh, there we go, right there, right there. Yeah, it's not all time time, sorry. The all time time was 18. You see that? We went to four sigma. Look where it went to four sigma. So it was December 13, I think. Yeah, there we go. December 13. I knew something was wrong. This whole time, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. Of course, Tico says, hey, daddy, daddy it's uh, chemical reagents. Remember? And he was right. Now, another one was also 2018. This was a big one. No, August of 18, if I'm right. Remember, I'm getting old, so. That's all time. Yeah. Yeah. August 13. You, know, you see the signal? We didn't buy a lot until uh, Christmas. So, I'm waiting for this. Don't know where it is yet. I'm waiting for it. It's early. That's where we, get there. That's where we are right now. So, it's very low. Also, this is a true range. It was designed for 100 to 150, was traded at 170, and this is all time the 109. So it was slightly above that, whatever that level is. 110, okay. So you have to shift this. So it's, you shift it, your center line should be 125, is about 135. So we, we're still below 135. That's a median of the range. So from just looking at the numerical processing, okay. So, we, we're still early, but as this thing builds up, then we have a leg down coming. The issue is uh, why? I can't tell you that. I, I don't know what the catalyst is. Oh, I know something's wrong. Okay, treasuries. What time is it? I got a hustle. Murray, I got a hustle, Murray. Okay, treasuries. Two, uh, 91 day, five year. I don't know why they have two year yet. I need two year. Uh, 10 year and 30. We're going to be trading this, baby. This has very, uh, quite a bit of liquid. I've never traded, I've traded a lot of this before. US, uh, this is a 100 to 1 leverage. It's incredible, incredible move there. Uh, okay, we're pulling back down. That is getting a little bit better. We peak came in about this time, which is uh, uh, October, and we'll come down. Except the front end, no, because the Fed is tightening up, and bond vigilantes are forcing the Fed to continue to tighten up because they'll, they'll, they'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. And so uh, uh, we, we had too much easy money. We bought too much. We spent too much. We floated. I mean, deficits went crazy. I won't mention any names, but you can go and see our deficits in the uh, uh, last few years, last let's say seven, eight years, have been horrible. And uh, that, that then the interest rates were low, so we we're basically throwing free money. That's the price of throwing free, free money. Everything went so crazy on. Uh, uh, in the market, in the real estate, they all have to come down. The problem with most people can't short. We're lucky ones. We can short. Okay. We went up with it, we went up, we're going to short it where it goes down. I think that the shake is coming. Uh, and then we're going to get cleaned up. It's not going to be this fast. So that's my opinion. The VIX spread, three months, 2.07, no, no, no signal. It's neutral. It's very close in between, you know, what? If the, 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 the top would be around negative three-ish we're not there and the bottom would be around zero we're not there so this is no signal same thing with sp2 most coveted indicator we have i'm one of the oldest ones we've ever written uh goes back to 95 96 that's very neutral and it's very good timing too short term for a week to two forward this is a must before i make a bias change i'll take a look always always now we have a rendezvous coming up with the stock rsi uh on the book I mentioned, Tuchel Chande, he talks about that. This is his indicator. Code is open. We just 
for the program to uh, be able to run it. That's all. Uh, and uh, great book. If you can find it, I know Cash recently just find it on the, uh, some of these uh, odd places in Georgia where land is cheap. And they buy these uh, closeouts and keep the books and they reduce them back on the Amazon. So go and find it. It's a good book to read. And I'll guarantee you it's a quick, uh, 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 it's a quick uh, uh, cure for insomnia. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, forget, forget taking uh, pills. Just try to read one of these books, or even my book. Try to read my book. You're probably within the first two pages, you, you're gone. You're sleeping, yeah. And no snoring, yeah, of course. Well, we don't know about that. That's a bit Yeah, hey, Tesla came back. Looks like post uh, uh, data is good, or is it where is it now? 476, 140. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good, yeah. So my friend that we're having dinner with, he should be happy. This is a, he's got quite a bit of this, quite a bit. And he sat there from, he sat there from up here. Yeah. Just, I told you, he's a Roman from, uh, uh, what do you call it? From, uh, uh, from Brooklyn. Okay, so. And the, there's a Trumpkin. Three strikes you're out. Trumpkin, Brooklyn, uh, Roman. Yeah, so. Three strikes you're out. I tell him that he laughs his head off. So. Anyhow, so that's that. Let's go to another, and then I'm going to wrap this up. I'll take your questions. Let's go back here. Let's look at this chart. Let's see what this tells us. Okay. This is something you go and download yourself. That's the symbol you want to use from stockcharts.com. And you got to wait for the end of the day for it to update. So give it like an hour after the close. Uh, very neutral. It's slightly upwards. Very neutral. You can see the two moving averages. They're moving up at a decent, at a decent clip, but they're very tight to each other. So this is a question. It's a kind of a pause mode. But the up, overall, the upward uh, bias is there, and why? It's over 55. The neutral zone is 45 Why do I know that? I know, I just looked at it over the years. I've used this since 2008. Well, 2008, it was down here. Oh, also, try to go here and look for five years. Don't use two. Get a better perspective. It's like automation. You have to look at it over a long period of time. You see all the possibilities of the results rather than uh, uh, you have a, a, a view that's focused on this area. But you could always see when we get down here, the next leg is up, or up here, next leg is down. And the separation of those two lines tells us a lot. Right now, they're on top of each other, but the slope is positive, and we're trying to punch through this uh, 55 area. So 55 to 45 is, again, neutral. I'm done there, and this is my baby. So come fly with me. I worked here. This is the area I worked. This was my area. The, uh, the, and the skin, I'm sorry. All the skin plus the actuators were here. Right there. 24 of them sat there for a while. Yeah. Almost almost got fired. But I wouldn't let them move the line until we make the change. <laughs> so, yeah. But we, we fixed it. And now we have, this is the C's, and these are ENFs. Any questions for me? I got to head out quickly. I talk too much. I am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Michael, uh, you are saying that we may chop higher. I do not know when I'm going to change my bias. I just turned it off yesterday. So we have the earnings season, but everything has a big input. But... Most likely, I mean, we try to stay in the market. We don't stay out very long. I mean, you know, there are times where we even have a bias, but not trade the option and tell you. That's when the vaults go crazy. When the vaults go crazy, option pricing is so expensive, you're guaranteeing a loser. But we still have a bias with time and digest. But earnings is an issue. I am in a up positive disposition with the market. But I am always have to stay. I have to be, and I am. Plus, all the market tells me. So, market has a bad earning, let's say from Apple or uh, Google. Uh, then, then, then we have a different problem. I mean, we're in a fragile state right now. So, uh, you, you follow up on this. But that's what, what will change. Now, my next bias could be long again. It doesn't have to be short. Okay. But we're, we're, we will chop higher and we may have to. Jump in there and uh, uh, participate in that. 
because if we don't, market will move and we get no credit for it. Okay, so yeah, remember I showed that uh, Excel sheet. That Excel sheet shows when 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 we're both active. That's all it does. So if the market goes higher and I don't do anything, I'm flat. I'll go flat here. And it just goes behind. This becomes a little bit uh, uh, disjointed. Okay, there's nothing to plot until I take a position, but we're from the higher level. And so sometimes you have these. I'm uh, taking a couple of days off or whatever. Market has moved and then you jump in. It changes the uh, anchor point. Yeah, because as you see, this is really driven by my bias. It has to be. It has to be. That's what we did this to make sure we're okay and time and was okay. They missed one of our signals. Yeah. yeah. In 2013, I told myself, I was in the process of doing indicators. I said, listen, I have to back this. It takes a while. Many, many indicators here. You see, it was a major chore in Chicago. But I told myself, if I'm doing that, I'm going to keep track of this detail. So I know what the account, my account order is. So these sh charts shape up. And he knows that now. I told him, I said, Jim, you messed up. Not your regular timer. You can find, you can not carry me if you want to, you don't want to, but you have to answer to a lot of people. But I'm not your regular, I'm not, I don't need you, you need me. Let's make sure we understand that. And this is how I'm going to keep track of you. I'm a hard ass. Anybody who's worked with me will tell you. Yeah. I work very hard. I do a lot of things. I still make some mistakes, but my point is, I, I don't take prisoners. They cannot take me for a ride and think they're giving me a, a what do you call it, a, a publicity so I will bend to their whims and wishes. No, not here. No, I'm Fatty MC. My dad was a fire pilot. We don't take prisoners. There's no room, there's no time. Thank you all for attending. I got to run. We'll post this when I get back. Um, this is my first evening off. I don't know it's Friday. Since probably. Mid December or early December. So, but I wish you very, uh, farewell. Good trading. Be careful. We will join back in. Obviously, Michael will have another bias, but we have to develop it. Right now, where we got there, where we were, is hey, we take a pause. Now, Microsoft came back pretty decently. Uh, and uh, we got to look at other components, other names will come in. So, we'll see. Uh, and we we're up 22 handles tonight right now on the NASDAQ. So uh, actually, let me go back here quickly while we're here. I have a page called uh, Overnight. <laughs> there we go, Overnight. Okay, so we're up there. This is good. Yeah. So, um, but this was a major move up there. Let me go to Swing and see what Microsoft did because that was the... Bad guy yesterday, yeah, still has not come back. JPM hasn't come back. So, you know, we did, tonight we're moving on Tesla. So that's our new king. We have new kings every so often. So we shall see. All the best. See you guys soon. Next week again on Wednesday. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for attending.